So we'll have a look at the um, Quantec QT630 Dementia Care Master. So this is part of the um, Quantec range of nurse fall equipment. Um, and this is kind of specifically for dementia care, um, dementia care units. It has a selection of um, other equipment that gets connected to it. That's kind of specific for dementia care in um, nursing homes or care facilities. So just want to give you a quick idea of what you get in your in your box here. Um, this is the actual uh, control panel. Now this gets connected to the Quantec network. So we've done a couple of videos on the Quantec equipment already. If you go back and have a look at them, you'll see what the network splitter is. But this comes in and out. It's connected onto the network splitter. And this gets its own address on the Quantec main system. It, um, the instruction manual again, like uh, a huge amount of CTEC stuff. The, the diagrams are pretty um, clear. It gives you sort of a, this is up on the website anyways, a PDF. It might be a bit easier to read on the screen, but it kind of shows you the various components that you have relating to this pressure mats, um, bed wetting mats you know other kind of incontinence care so the idea here is some of this equipment is interfaced directly with the with the dementia care system the patient starts to have a um, an incontinent episode the bed wet mat senses this and can actually wake them up by turning on a light above the bed or actually calling the nurse or, or this type of thing um it can monitor for bed exit or just pressure mats go on go underneath the sheets on the bed so if the patient actually gets out of the bed, it'll turn on the light so that they're not walking around inside a darkened room. You can have it so once the pair push is pushed, it turns on a light in the room. The kind of some of the stuff around the dementia care is about kind of comforting the patient um, from when they wake up as opposed to just after they need the nurse or maybe they wouldn't have the wherewithal to actually call the call the nurse. So depending on how you're setting this up, there's a, a selection of different um intensity for the the monitoring so whether it's low care or high care requirements or somewhere in the middle you actually set this and then it sets up the system for effectively how sensitive uh the system is in terms of monitoring for as soon as the text a bed exit does it call a nurse or does it just turn on a light in the in the patient care area so it, it it's fairly detailed you kind of need to plan this out in advance while you can just put it up um, and work out exactly what you want to do later. There's things like if you're wiring lights off of it and other bits and pieces, you kind of want to plan this out before you start doing your install. Um, generally, the director of nursing or the owner of a facility will have an idea of the level of care that they're trying to have for the the um, the patient in the area. But there's a selection of ancillary devices. I'll do um, videos on each of these in turn. Um, they're probably already up there on the on the website anyway. So just in inside the packet, you get the usual um, battery leads, spare fuse, the other bits and pieces, um, and you get the Allen key to actually get you into the panel itself. So I'll just show you the inside of it. Um, these tend to be there's not there's not a, a huge amount of excitement in looking at terminals here, but um, some people like to see what's um what's actually the inside of these look like before they uh order them or fit them to a wall so um the front of the panel here is showing you what um what's happened so we have the incontinence we have the ir input we have something monitoring a door it's telling us if a ensuite has pull cord has been pulled um some of the slave call points you might have more than one call point in a dementia care room pirs um these can be used to turn on the lights if the patient walks in front of them it triggers them and then you have some programmable inputs that the usual thing with the ztech stuff it's it's quite versatile and you can add other inputs onto it to um to trigger you know just push buttons or other bits and pieces that you might want so that's your dip switches for setting your intensity of care so low medium high this type of thing monitoring how long between triggering an input before you turn on the PIRs, this type of thing. And then that's all your various inputs. And this is your network point for coming in and out. So you enroll this on the system in the same way. That's your mains into the panel there at the back. Um, yeah. 
So nice, uh, you know, it'll take two 12 volt, 2.3 ampere hour batteries. Nice little unit. And that's just a very brief um, overview. Uh, have a look at some of the other videos for the ancillary devices that connects to this. It's a neat little system for your dementia care and a great way of extending the Quantex system.